Syria has called on the United Nations and the Security Council to issue a clear and explicit condemnation of Israeli aggressions on its territory. In a letter addressing the UN chief and the head of the Security Council, the Syrian Foreign Ministry recalled some of recent Israeli crimes, including an attack on the Damascus International Airport last June. It said the attack caused the airport to go completely out of service for two weeks. The ministry noted that the regime is determined today more than ever to sabotage Syria's infrastructure and endanger the lives of civilians. It said Israeli aggressions are a direct threat to regional and international peace and security, adding Damascus reserves the right to respond to the attacks. Israel frequently carries out missile strikes on Syria. The latest one came last Thursday when Israeli jets targeted a research facility in the city of Masyaf. Joining me to discuss that story further is Tim Anderson. He is the director of the Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies, joining us from Sydney. Tim, thank you so much for coming on. So let's first discuss why Israel carries out frequent missile strikes on Syria. I think its main aim is to coordinate with the attacks of the US occupation and the proxy armies, the terrorist groups in uh, other parts of Syria to try and destabilize Damascus and prevent <coughs> a resurgent Syria with uh, its support from other powers in the region, particularly Iran, because of course it fears that a strong Syria is going to reclaim the Jolan eventually. Mm -hmm. And then of course the, the next step will be to dismantle the apartheid system in occupied Palestine. Now the Israeli regime usually claims that it targets bases that host pro-Iranian militias or Iranian forces. This is a claim that is vehemently rejected over and over again by both Syria and Iran. What do you think about that? Well, whether it's true or not, they are attacks on, on Syrian um, uh, facilities. Um, and Syria does have allies working in within Syria to defend itself from the assault it's been going through for more than a decade. But I think the fact that the Israelis and also the US, you notice recently when they attacked some bases in eastern Syria, they claimed they were Iranian linked. The point of that is I think that there's, a, there's an extreme anxiety that when the time comes for Syria to retake the occupied Sholan, it's certain that Iran is going to be its key ally there. The resistance in Lebanon also, it's not clear exactly what role Russia will play, but it's very clear to the Israelis that Iran is going to play an important part in the liberation of occupied Syrian territory and the liberation of Palestine. And also recently, the U.S. carried out an attack on Syria, actually a couple of attacks in Syria. How do you think that might be connected to this recent aggression by the Israeli regime? Well, the occupation claims it was self-defense from some previous rocket attacks, but of course there's no such thing as self-defense from an illegal occupation. It's interesting that they did use the same rationale as Israelis. They were linking the, their targets to Iran linked as though simply mentioning the word Iran justifies any sort of murderous attack. Of course, the, the Syrians and the US and the Turkish are also uh, all illegally occupying Syria. And I think all of the, the, the positions of principle in the region are to expel all three of these occupations. And finally, Tim, um, Syria has time and again uh, filed official complaints with the UN and other international bodies, uh, I mean, asking them basically to stop this aggression by the Israeli regime. Now, are these attacks by any means a legitimate move by the Israeli regime, or are they totally against the international law? They're all against international law, as the occupation is. Um, they're clear aggressions, and I think the, the Syrian government has been quite systematic in its attempt to document these attacks, and the Israelis themselves have admitted there's been hundreds of them in the last decade. Um, but the, the recent catalogue by, by Damascus is um, citing incidents back to late last year, that is to say over about 12 months attacks, because I think they want to put on record that they're, they're using every possible effort to peacefully resolve these, these sorts of problems. And when the time comes to forcefully move against Israel, um, no one can say that the Syrians used every possible opportunity at mm. the UN to try and resolve the situation peacefully. Tim Anderson, thank you so much for joining us. A pleasure to have you on Press TV. Tim Anderson, he is the director of Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies, joining us from Sydney.